welcome students in this video we will try to complete our practical 4c our practical 4c says create a web form to demonstrate the use of user control so what is a user control a user control is a combination of predefined controls so let's consider how we can build a user control it's quite easy i am creating my new project as a web application and given the name of this project as practical 4c now here i am interested in creating our user control so let's consider how to create a user control for creating user control the file extension is ascx so i give a right click over here selected add and selected the option as new item i just search the option as user you will find the option comes over here as web form user control and the name of the control over here is web user control 1 with the extension as ascx now whatever the content which you need continuously inside your web application in many of the web pages then instead of adding it inside every web page better to create a user control and then add the user control inside your web application so for doing it simply for example i would like to do a task of login uh, many times so i'm just putting one label a text box for a username um moving ahead i would like to go for adding one more label for a password and then adding my text box for the password and then adding the button called as sign up okay now i'm just changing the label text maybe as username here i'm changing the label text as password fine and button text as sign in finish now this user control i would like to add it inside my regular page now you can suppose for example i'm taking one label and writing the small code inside this sign in also uh, so a code is been written by me on this button click as label 3 dot text equal to valid login i may write the conditions also as per my required so now i am interested in using this user control inside my web form a regular web form and how the things can be added simply you can add the new web form and inside the web form you add up a user control so where exactly you'll be getting the user control fine you can just look at the solution and this particular user control you can drag it over here simply so this is simply you can add up the user control if you run this particular web form 1.aspx you don't require to write any code now already the buttons click code will be executed which is updated in a user control so we'll just see whether really the code is getting executed or not so i just plan to give a click on the button it shows me valid log so why the contents are not added okay you add it in as a user control automatically it has been also added inside our web form so this is the beautiful way by which you can reduce your task a common task it is just like functions we create the functions and then we use the function similarly we can create a user control and we can go on using the user control inside the web form so this is the way by which you can implement the web form thanks a lot student subscribe our channel to get the new update